It is a sad day for the Sooner community, losing Jimbo Elrod, one of their best All-American linebackers, in a car crash. Two Works for You reporter Katie Wisely spoke with some of Elrod's former teammates today. Katie. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol says Elrod was ejected from the sunroof of his car after hitting a guardrail on the Turner Turnpike. It happened this morning just before 4 near Chandler. His former teammate tells me he'll never forget Jimbo's sense of humor and the incredible player he truly was. Don't ever tell him he can't do something because uh, he'll get it done. John Roush remembers his former teammate and the four years they spent on the field. An 11 and 1 record. Roush and Elrod took home the national championship in 1974 and 1975. Back to back national championships. Nobody forgets Jimbo Elrod. I mean, he was a living legend, and uh, a lot of guys off of that team will never really be forgotten. Elrod grew up in Tulsa. He went to East Central High School. His number 54, one of only two athletes to have his jersey retired at the school. In 75, I was done playing, but when we played Pittsburgh and Dorsett, it was Dorsett versus Joe Washington. And Dorsett was coming around in and, and Elrod was face down and a guy was on top of him and he, he reaches up and grabs Dorsett's foot and tackles him one just hand. with one arm. It's been 42 years since Roush took the field in a jersey and helmet, a time he remembers and cherishes, like in this photo with Elrod. Everybody wants to play on a team like that. And, you know, for it to happen, uh, it uh, is a dream come true. Now his teammate will always stay with him. When this happens, it, it's like a part of you uh, goes with him. Elrod's wife was in the car. She was taken to an Oklahoma City hospital with serious injuries. We did call within the last couple of minutes, and she remains in serious condition. Katie Wisely, two works for you. All right.